I wonder if you're starchy or if you're open to a little humor tonight. You know, I don't. I believe serving God is serious business, but every now and then, there's nothing wrong with a little laugh. You know, everybody knows I've got an aversion to these little long, thin things they call snakes. You know, and every time, you know, somebody says something about a snake, they say, oh, it's just a little old garden snake. To me, I don't care if it's a garden or whatever it is. A snake is a snake is a snake. I want to, give, I want to read you something that was brought to me just a little bit ago, and I'll be as brief as I can with it, just to lighten the mood a little tonight. Said a couple in Sweetwater, Texas, had a lot of potted plants, and during a recent cold spell, the wife brought some of the pots indoors to protect them from a possible freeze. It turned out the little green garden snake was hidden in one of the plants, and when it warmed up, it slithered out. And the wife saw it go under the sofa. She let out a very loud scream, and I don't blame her, amen, right there. The husband, who was taking a shower, ran out of the living room to see what the problem was. He was told there was a snake under the sofa. He got down on the floor on his hands and knees to look under the sofa. About that time, the family dog came in and cold-nosed him. <laughs> he thought that the snake had bitten him, so he screamed and fell over on the floor. Well, his wife thought he had a heart attack, so she covered him up and called for the ambulance. The attendants rushed in, wouldn't even listen, loaded him up on a stretcher and started out. About that time, the snake did come out from under the sofa, and the EMTs dropped the stretcher and broke the man's leg. The wife still had the problem with the snake in the house, so she called on a neighbor who volunteered to capture the snake. He armed himself with a rolled-up newspaper and began poking under the couch. Soon he decided it was gone and told the woman to go ahead and sit down in relief. So she sat down and relaxed and put her hand between the cushions, and lo and behold, she found the snake. She jumped up and fainted. The neighbor man saw her lying on the ground, tried to do CPR to revive her. The neighbor's wife, who had just returned to the grocery store, came in and found the man's mouth on the woman's mouth, slammed her husband on the back of the head with a bag of canned goods, knocking him out to the point he needed stitches. The noise woke the woman from the dead faint when she heard her neighbor, saw her neighbor lying on the floor and the wife bending over him. Soon the snake had bitten him. So she went and tried to pour some liquor on him to cl clean out the wound. So the unconscious man, uh, whoa, oh, I missed something. By now the police arrived. They saw the unconscious man which smelled of whiskey and assumed a drunken fight had occurred. They were about to arrest them all. The woman tried to explain to them it was just over. It was just a little garden snake. The police called the ambulance. They took the neighbor and his sobbing wife away. Now the little snake crawled out from under the sofa, and one of the policemen drew his gun and fired at it. He missed the snake and hit the leg on the end table. The table fell over, and the lamp shattered. The bull broke and started to fire on the drapes. <laughs> The policeman tried to beat out the flames, and then he fell through the window into the yard on top of the family dog, who was startled and jump up, raced out in the street in front of an oncoming car that swerved to avoid it and smashed right into the parked police car. <laughs> Meanwhile, the neighbors saw the burning grapes and called the fire department. The fire department started raising the fire. The ladder coming down the street to get a jump start on fire in the fire. The raised ladder tore down all the overhead wires put out all the power, disconnected all the phones in a 10-block city square. But after time passed, both men were discharged from the hospital. <laughs> they won't know what I'm talking about. They were discharged from the hospital. The house was repaired. The dog came home. The police got a new car, and everything was right. A little while later, while they were watching TV, the weatherman announced a cold snap was coming. The wife asked her husband if he thought he ought to bring the plants in for the night. That's when he shot her. <laughs> it's just over a little garden snake. I know I didn't have a thing to do with church, but I said everybody needs a little humor every now and then.